What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to put multiple infill densities in just one print on Cura settings. And just a shout out, uh, a YouTuber called Shep, I think. He's the guy that helped me do this. So if you guys like his video, please go to his channel. I'll try to put a link in the description below. Okay, so for this example, I'm gonna be using the same model that I've been told had problems with the bulb right here. And that's, that's normal because this was my first test using it. What we're going to do is press here, support blocker. Now, this in particular, you could press any specific area like this. Watch, you see this gray cube? That came off of that. Now, we're going to push scale. Now, we're going to unclick this, and in doing so, we now have access to make this bigger. Such as, I could put 40% right there, that'll make it longer. I could also do this, that will make it longer as well. Enter. And the Z, that's going to make it big. So let's just do this again. Now notice how this cube is right here. That's not what I want. So what I'm going to do here is delete that change it to maybe 14 and see what it does okay that's pretty good I'm gonna do the same right here enter alright not bad now we'll do it one more time and as you can see we have a cube right here now that's not where I want it so I'm going to move it to the side just a bit alright so you're going to click this right here per model settings. Now you're going to click here and then you're going to put modify settings for overlap with other models. Then select settings. You're going to type in infill which will be this infill density. Now we'll close it and right here this is what you want to change. You could click right here and if you do that well, give it a minute. This will be a little difficult. Okay, so... Yeah, I could do that. 200, which is not what you want. But yeah, in doing so, I changed the density of the block specifically, not the print. So, I'm going to set this to 50%. And that should do it. Now, I'm going to prepare these settings and I will show you what it looks like in layer height. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Once it's been rendered, we're going to go down the layers and show you. So here, we have a 10% infill pattern. And now, if we raise the layers, we'll go back to where I made the square. And if we look closely, You'll notice that there's starting to, there looks like there's a difference. That's because there is a difference. Now, I'm going to zoom in a bit right here on the old settings. And you'll notice that this is not the same infill density that we have on the other parts of the print. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this little technique because this is useful for certain parts of prints that you might want to be completely solid or just less dense in other areas. So I hope this explains why some of my other prints may look a little odd to you. And I hope this helped you out in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate you guys and uh, have a good one.